Hey folks, Ariel over here, not at Fynith today. I actually took a second to go for a hike with a very good friend of mine. Um, it has been a while since I've gotten to do this, and we got to see a lot of fun things, like these sandhill cranes. I, I don't know if you all know this, but I used to hike a lot every summer, like about 500 miles of you know, trails every year. And these last couple since we've moved into our new place have just been too busy setting things up to do that. But this was one uh, afternoon that I made the time to go do a hike and I was glad I did. This was a bit of an exploring one. Neither of us had ever been to this particular ridge line that we hiked to. And it started out on a nice wide trail and then the trails kind of came and went from there. But we did make it up to the ridge and there was gorgeous views. Um, a lot of the up and down was very scrambly. It ended up being about six miles round trip with about 3,000 feet of elevation gain and then another 3,000, of course, of loss going down. A lot of which was very steep. Um, the camera doesn't really show how steep that is, but that's looking back down at the valley floor there. And there was some gorgeous wildflowers at the top top um, and in between, so. but uh, the snow had melted fairly recently at this, uh, you know, spot on the ridge, and so a lot of things weren't even blooming there yet, but this is one of my favorite moments of hiking, when you get up to a ridge and suddenly, within a few steps, you go to being able to see over it and see all the stuff you haven't been able to see the whole time you've been walking. We got to spend a little time at the top, hanging out, taking pictures, um, enjoying the wildflowers and the views and all that, and then we made our way back down, which was also steep. Actually, a lot of steep, steep stuff going downhill is actually harder than going uphill because your momentum is going in the same direction that you would tend to slip, and so... Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it was a little bit of a tiring hike for no further than it was. The same friend and I have done 30 plus miles in a day together before with overnight backpacks on. So six-ish miles isn't actually that long, but I'm not in excellent, uh, uphill hiking shape. And, uh, it was pretty bushwhacky for a whole lot of this terrain.
We tried a slightly different route going back down since there didn't seem to be any established trail. We had a lot of little game trails like that that you could see would look really solid for a sec and then just kind of vaporize again. And I'm not sure we really found a better route down than up. Then up. But we uh, did get to see this pretty cool sight. See how many of her babies you can pick out. Oh, there's a ton. We can move on and up. I don't think she never even got him. No, nope, she acts just like a normal chicken. Mm -hmm. Sage grass? Mm, some kind of grass. Here comes another baby across the trail. Just in front of her. They're so little. There's another one. Mm -hmm. They're so cute. Anyway, it was enjoyable to spend a day walking in the woods and one of these years I'll get more time to do that again and I was very thankful to have a good friend to go do it with. So I hope you enjoyed a few of the sights and sounds from our little walk up and down a mountain nearby. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.